Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. MCC Theater continues their season with the new play, The Village Bike, by Penelope Skinner. Under the direction of Sam Gold, it stars Greta Gerwig, who's making her debut. It will open on June 10th at the Lucille Lortel Theater, and I drop by the rehearsal room to meet the company. So here we are. This is like your second day of rehearsal, yeah. right? Yeah. What's happening here? Tell me. Oh, God, this cast is so good, and this play is so good. So we're just... Right now, we're just sitting around reveling in the joy of doing a great play with a great group. And Sam Gold is a pretty exciting, smart, uh, sensitive director. So. so take me back to the beginning when you first read the play. Yeah. What did you love about it? What were your thoughts on it? Um, I, th I love the subject matter. <laughs> I love the characters. Um, I think Penny, Penelope Skinner, has a, she's got a strong, unique voice, and I just responded immediately to the humanity and the humor and the intelligence. Who are you going to be playing? What can you tell us about your role so far? Um, I don't want to tell you too much because she's a little bit of a surprise, but her name is Alice, and I play the, um, the uh, wife of Oliver. And that's kind of all I want to tell you. She's a fun surprise. I want to let her be a surprise. So here we are. It's like your second day of rehearsal here. Tell me uh, what attracted you to the play. Oh, well, I, I was mainly attracted to working with Sam because I've known Sam for many years. He was working over at the Worcester Group uh, about seven or eight years ago as an assistant to Elizabeth LeCompte. So when he called me up, I was kind of already in once I was getting the call from him. And then when I read the play, um, I, just, uh, I just connected to it, you know, and to, to, to that character who's, um, who's got some ideas about uh, what, what can be, how, how intimacy can be compartmentalized. And uh, uh, I don't know, and the first entrance is um, in a high woman costume, you know, you can't beat it, carrying a bicycle. So here we are. Hey. This is like, I don't know, like the sixth time this season, which is very exciting. Tell me, take me back to the beginning, Sam, with this play when you first read it and why you wanted to direct. This is a, a rare uh, circumstance for me where this was a play that I just read. It was sent to me like, you might like it, and I just read it cold, didn't know, didn't know Penny, didn't know anything about its life in London, didn't know anything about it. I just read it and loved it. and and you know, got up from reading it and said I'm doing this play. So it's been a very easy, quick process going from that moment to being in the room. We put a great cast together and you know, we're ready to get started. Do you choose projects by instinct? Like when you read it, you say, I can, I can feel that I can do this, or does something hit you about it? Yeah, I, it's so hard to explain your taste, you know, but I just, uh, it rarely happens where you just read it the first time out and know I have to do this play. It's something about certain kinds of challenges that I want to give myself, and, um, and then also, you know, a sense of humor, like if something just makes me laugh. You know, there's just things that they just sort of stick with you. You have to think, I'm going to spend two months of my life living with this thing and I have to care about it and it doesn't happen that often so it's a uh, this is a very special play. Did you have major conversations with Penelope about this already? Yeah we've had a uh, you know she's in London and we've mostly had the the challenging experience of trying to meet each other and collaborate with each other over Skype so I went to London once and we had a great dinner and I was crazy jet lagged and you know, we got to finally meet in person, but mostly we have these kind of long internet uh, assisted meetings. But, and, and now she's here for a few days, so we're finally getting to be in the room together. What do you love about her writing? She has um, a very unique wit and there's a, you know, sh it's ballsy. It's, uh, she's, she's writing risky material with real wit and clarity. Kara, what attracted you to this play? Well, I think it's it's such beautiful language. Um, it's very, uh, it kind of leaps off the page. It has this really kind of um, visceral, pungent kind of sexual kind of quality that, um, and it's funny, but it's also not, it's not superficial, there's a great depth to it, and I think it has a lot of very serious things that's going on underneath, but it, it's, it's beautifully balanced, I think, as a piece. You know, what can you tell us about the role that you're going to play? I know it's sort of new in the process. Yeah, I can't kind of keep it secret a bit. Jenny, yes. Well, she's uh, living in the country, I guess she's, she's quite well healed. Um, she's got two sons. She's a basically she's an exhausted mother. 
That's all you're going to tell me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to give it away. I know, I <laughs> totally get it. Take me back to the beginning, Max, when you read the yesterday. play. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> take me back one day. Yeah. No, but take me back to the beginning when you first yeah. got the play, when right. you read it, what your thoughts were. When was that? was um, probably a couple of months ago, and I don't remember much about last week, so going that far back is a little difficult. Um, but here's the thing with all of these plays, these British plays, when I read them, it just sort of strikes a chord, you know, it sort of touches my heart because growing up in England and then but being here for 25 years, it feels like, oh, there's sort of a, um, a connection that happens that is very sort of, um, sort of visceral. And uh, I always respond very positively to that, so, you know. Now, I know it's very early in the process. Yeah, right. What can you tell me about the role? What attracted you to the man you're going to play? I'm a plumber. <laughs> and I mend pipes. Um, but the thing about Penelope's writing is that all of these characters have such sort of genuine poignancy. There's a real, there's a real life that they all have in this village, and so, in, so hopefully we'll discover how to embody that as we go, and that'll be the, that'll be, and if we're all living in that little world together, it's just going to be. Hopefully, very exciting, dynamic kind of, but also sad place. So, what's going through your mind? How excited are you to be here in New York with the play? Oh, very excited. <laughs> I'm uh, quite nervous um, because I haven't had a play done in America before, so it's uh, the first time. Um, and I suppose it's always quite exposing doing a play, so I, ho I hope that it's received well. So what's the hope? <laughs> it's going to be received well, but I guess that's everyone's, you know, everyone's, oh, I want it to be received well. Take me back to the beginning of how you came about to write the play, if you would. Um, it's always a weird thing, because I never really know how did it come about. I had sort of ideas um, about the, the couple and um, who they were. The characters, I suppose, sometimes come first, and I had this visual image of a bike which I wanted to be somehow involved in it. Um, and the play went on quite a journey of its own to, to come to where it is now. So those characters have existed in kind of different plays, and then they came eventually to be in this play, in the, in the form that it's in now, so. And then there's this incredible director, Sam Gold. You guys were like Skyping for a while. Talk about your first few meetings. Yeah, we met on Skype, um, <laughs> which is always quite weird because you just don't really know yeah, quite what to do. But um, we had a really good conversation about the play. I suppose uh, doing a play again is always, it feels like an opportunity to, to do some things differently. And we, we seem to agree on what we wanted the play to be this time around. And there probably will be a, a few changes that we've talked about making, which is uh, really nice for me to get the chance to do that um, again in a new production so um, and then we met again in London in person uh, and then we met again yesterday so so yesterday was a lot of fun for you yeah definitely although I had just got off a plane I got off a plane and came straight here so I was also a little bit insane but <laughs> it was fun always wondering from a playwright standpoint you know you have a play done somewhere and you wow you say wow this is this is perfect but then it's taken somewhere else and you're like oh I like these voices better or something like what goes through your mind when you like when you heard it yesterday Oh uh, well, I suppose you never think it's perfect. Okay. That's the thing. So there's always, it always feels like there's an opportunity to, to do something or change something. And it's and strange coming back to it. I haven't heard the play for maybe a c couple of years, um, and you hear things differently going back to it yourself. So I, I feel like I understood some things that I could change, and um, that's that's exciting as well because you don't always get the chance to do that. And the play will go on again, which is really yeah. nice. Tell me what your thoughts were why you wanted to do this play. You know, I think we fell in love with this play the first time we took a look at it because of the unexpected take on a woman's sexuality and the way she owns her body. And we're so used to seeing this kind of story told from a male perspective of a, of a man and his sex drive and what he needs. And we don't see it told this way from a woman's point of view and in a way that we conventionally regard as transgressive and yet she's really trying to own who she is and what's happening to her and that's really thrilling. 
Talk about her writing. What a fabulous voice she has. Talk about Penelope's writing. Oh my God. I'm, first of all, so excited to bring, in, to bring Penny to the United States. This is her U.S. premiere of any of her plays ever. I think she's, she has a fascinating, unique voice that has so much wit and humor, and yet all of the edge, all of the sharpness and the spikiness is there. And when you get to the end of the play, she doesn't lose that spikiness, she doesn't lose that humor, and yet it's heartbreaking. And I think there's a real power to that, and it's exciting to find a voice like that. And then there's your cast. And then there's our cast. It's a lovely cast, and I'm so excited about Greta doing this part. She's such an amazing actress, and she's... You know what I love about her in this role is she's so subtle. And she has that ability to be incredibly appealing and yet you can't quite tell what the issues are. And then as her performance goes on, it just unfolds layer by layer by layer. And that's the same thing that happens to the character in this play. And I think Greta is an ideal, ideal choice to, to really dial this in. And she's making her stage debut, which is thrilling. We had, a, we had a read through yesterday and it was unbelievably exciting to listen to her say those words. It was really great. It's the second day of rehearsal. Yes. <laughs> Take me back to the beginning of when you first got the play and you read it. What were some of your thoughts on it? Um, well, I got the play, I got an email from an, my agent saying, would you be interested in doing this? And I saw uh, Sam Gold was attached, and then I read about two pages of the script, and I, was, I instantly felt like, this is great, I know it's great. And I called right away and said, yeah, yes, sign me up, please, how do I do this? So, um, I was... I've been a real fan of Sam for a long time, and I've also fe I also feel like he's a person who's so good at shepherding new voices, young playwrights into into the world and making sure their plays are given a fair shake. And I think he's extraordinary in that way. So I I was just. I couldn't believe that it came to me. That was kind of the feeling I had was, I, I felt like this is, I couldn't have designed this. Yeah. So I, I'm just grateful. And I know it's early in the process, yeah. but what can you tell us about the role? Who is she? <laughs> what you love about her already? Um, well, I think, she, I mean, she, she and her husband John move uh, to the country and she becomes pregnant and she's a, she's a teacher and she's on holiday and I think between the pregnancy and the heat wave, a lot of things start happening in her body and I think, I, I mean, I don't want to be too intellectualized about it, but I think there's something almost, she taps into a feminine jouissance in a way, which is incredibly destructive, but also incredibly powerful. And I think the way she follows some deep instinct inside her is terrifying, but also incredible to behold. So I think there's something about this this force that's pouring out of her it's I, I just I, it's something that I intellectually have been interested in in literature and art of these female characters are kind of overpowered by that and then to be able to portray it in this way in a modern character is really exciting and scary so yesterday was the first table read now for a lot of actors it's really exciting for many right. it's like scary and fun at yeah. the same time what was yesterday like for you it was scary it was scary and fun I mean I have I, I think this is so silly but I have the first line which is always you know it just when you start it always feels to me like wood chips are coming out of my mouth. I'm like, oh, this is just, I don't know what's happening. But as soon as everyone else started playing, and I think the cast is so tremendous, and um, it just felt suddenly like, as soon as everyone else was doing it, it, it just was like, okay, great, now we're all just in this together. So um, I think it was really leading up to the table read, which was at 3 p.m. yesterday, and I just spent the entire eight hours before just eating bagels because I was, I think I was just looking for comfort food because I was so nervous. Um, but now I'm off the bagels. <laughs> you know, you do a lot of film, you yeah. do television. Yeah. What do you love about this process of doing a play? Oh, this has always been my dream, I think, more than anything else. And, and I, and I, you know, I, when I went to college, I did a lot of theater, and I worked in I worked backstage a lot uh, at professional theater companies. But this is the first time a theater company has paid me to be on stage and act. So um, it's just 
I, I think this is why I moved to New York was because of the the theater community and it's something that especially really what Sam has done with his playwrights and his group of actors he likes it's something I've always been watching in the, the, the years that I did a lot of independent film and I felt in some ways that maybe it was a kindred spirit to what I was doing in film or something analogous about it that it was a community of young artists coming up together and so I just feel thrilled that I get to be part of it now.